Everything on my end is correct. It was on a private stream for some reason, but I switched that to public. Oh, here we go. Okay. It's, I don't know, sometimes it just takes longer than others to lot load here, here up. Here it goes. Here it goes. All right. All right. All right. Oh, it took so long there, but. Now the problem is I'm getting, I'm getting the reverb. Oh, I know why. Testing one, two, three, can you hear me? Yeah, we're good to go. We can hear you just fine. You can hear, you can hear me now? Oh, yeah, we can hear you fine. <laughs> yep. So that's what I was thinking that just going forward, we change that, that thumbnail to improve your golf swing at home instead of improve... You know, the way it is now, it's improved your golf game. Let me show you what that looks like. Oh, that's not it. See, see where it says improve your golf game? Have it say um, improve your your golf game at home or something like that. That's what we want to be known for. Switch it around. We don't have to put it on all the old slides, just kind of the new ones going forward. We don't have anybody coming on. You don't have the phone on, but I've got the delay. If I turn, if I turn this volume on at all, all, I can't, I can't, I, can't, I, can't, I, hear, it I hear it twice. Yep, and you got to turn the volume down. Yeah, but then, go ahead, go ahead and talk, say something. Um, we're live here. And now I can't uh, hear you. Yeah, it's just it's just a little delayed. You just got to be patient. You just it's delayed four seconds. But to everybody else, it looks it looks it looks live. It's just you and I. It's delayed because we're going through. Or this. And there's just no way around it, so. All right, did you see any of the golf this weekend? No. No. So they're out in La Quinta, La, La, La Quinta, out in Palm Springs. You ever been out to Palm Springs? No. No. No, okay. You know where Palm Springs is? <laughs> yes. yes. Okay. <laughs> Out near San California. Diego. Yeah, out near San Diego. Close to close to Tijuana. You've been to Tijuana? Tijuana, Tijuana I know. You know Tijuana. Okay. <laughs> Have you been Three there? Penicillin. What are you laughing at? <laughs> <laughs> plenty of penicillin. You, you what? <laughs> <laughs> All right. I guess you've never been to Tijuana. Um, so anyway, uh, Hudson Swafford was their winner this weekend. Shot 23-24 under par, something like that. He, he beat Tom, Tom Hoagie out. Thought it'd be good if we take a look at his golf swing, but... Um, have you heard of Hudson Swafford? No. No? All right. Let's take a look at his golf swing, see what he does. Nice, nice setup. Yep. Really good. So what, what entails a good setup, Bobby? What do you think entails a good setup? Spine, Spine angle at 90 degrees to the shaft. shaft. His weight's easily, evenly distributed on his feet. Uh, I like his arms hanging. 
You guys like the arms hanging? So here's here's what I would say a little bit about the setup. I don't think, you know, if we just draw a line from the brim of his cap down to the golf ball, I would premise that he's looking at the golf ball through the peripheral of his eyes a little bit. I don't think he's really looking down at the golf ball. He's looking out through the bottom of his eyes. So I would say I'd like to see those eyes down a little more. Brim of his cap a little bit more down to the golf ball. And then he's got a you know a fair amount of knee flex. I don't know if he's a tall guy, big guy. I don't I really don't know much about him. But um his setup looks good. I I would just say tilt the head down a little bit more to get a little more sharper image on the golf ball, maybe just a little less knee flex, but that's just me. But for the most part, you know, he's nailed that setup pretty darn good. Let's draw some reference lines. Just watch how that club comes back. So it gets a little vertical um, about halfway back, which I like. I'm a big fan of, of the club getting vertical in there. But what do you think about the club face there, Bobby? A little, a little open. open. Yeah. He's got a little open move. That's for sure. What do you think about that? So he's just gonna have to hustle down at the bottom. Oh, look, 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 look! Keep going. Yeah. So he gets opened at the top. Yeah. Look at his left wrist. Yep. All right. So if we we zoom in a little bit here. So we've got a little extension or cupping of that wrist up there, which is gonna open that club face all day long. So yeah, he's got to have a lot of hustle in that downswing. And, and what tell us what do you mean by hustle? What does that mean in your in your world? Well, you're going to have to rotate the hands quicker. Where something like Dustin Johnson, because he's shut, he can sort of punch the ball with the back of his left hand and continue to have his left back of his left hand facing the target longer. Yep. As as they say, they call it the shut and drag. So. Shut and drag. And, um, you know, there's an element of timing that's, you know, the, 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 the more you have to hustle, the more you have to time it correctly at the bottom. At least, uh, at least that's what common sense would tell us. You got to hustle more down there. And, you know, you don't see him week to week playing well for some reason. He, he shows up and wins. He's got a couple of wins. I think he's got, you know, four or five wins, something like that. Uh, maybe a little more than that. But you only have to play good, you know, a few times a year if you have to time it and you have to hustle down there at the bottom in order to keep your status out there. So um, he definitely has that element of hustle and, and timing in that in that downswing. You put a bunch of golf balls on his shirt. I wonder if he was, <laughs> didn't have a basket. <laughs> and you should talk. <laughs> <laughs> And what do you think about impact there? Look, he's, fix he's fixing it already. Yep. And notice how the brim of his cap is now pointing, looking more down. He's changed his eye line a little bit there. And then let's go into uh, the finish and follow through here. And he got his left arm higher than his right arm, which is good.
And there's a nice finish there. What I like to see is that what I call the picture frame finish. This is what I mean by picture frame. It's nice. I like that. Nice little picture frame finish there. So there you have it. Hudson Swafford, American oh, Express. Oh, picture frame finish. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> That's, pretty, That's neat. pretty neat. I've never, I've never seen, seen that before. before. Well, there you go. See, you learn something new every day. Beautiful little picture frame finish. The old, the old man that taught me how to play, he used to tell me, hold your, hold your finish for the TV camera. There you go. When I was about 11. <laughs> <laughs> they had TV back then, huh? It must have been black and white then. <laughs> hold it for the TV camera. Back in Whitehall, we had to we had to listen to it on radio. <laughs> ben Hogue is now getting out of his car after sleeping there last night. <laughs> He's heading for the first team without a shower. <laughs> oh no, that was uh, Walter Hagen, wasn't it? He was infamous for that. No, Walter Hagen. He, he he dressed like a gentleman. He had a tie. He had knickers. He had. What I meant was that he, he he's he, he'd come straight from the car. Yeah, he definitely he came out of a Rolls Royce. He had, he had money. He had money. But he was uh, he had a kind of a zest for living, wouldn't you say? We've got to, we've got to have a, we've got to have a night. We go back and dig up all these guys, Kyle Lafoon, all, all the old greats that played because of the love of the game, but they didn't make anything. Yeah. Yep. These kids today, they make a million bucks in one tournament. It lasts them all year. Sure does. It's all it takes. Yeah, there wasn't uh, there wasn't the money there. There was uh, t today as, as there was back then. Oh, no, oh, no comparison. Yep. And you did. You played for the, the, the pressure was I'd, I'd, I'd imagine it'd be a lot more. Miami, Miami Open. I remember looking at that one time. Was it like a thousand bucks? I think Sam Snead won. Thousand bucks, first place. Wow. Uh, let's see. Let's take another. What else do I have of Hudson? So here's one with his. Uh, he's hitting the driver here. Same guy. Same guy. So once again, I'd premise, you know, the, the the bill of his cap isn't isn't down enough, but that's just me. There's that little move in there where he opens it. You know, I wonder when this was taken. That club face isn't nearly as open. I was just going to say. So this was 2000. Might be the other videos old. Yeah, this one was 2017. Let's take a look at this one here. When was this video taken? Ha, huh, there's no timestamp on this one. Here's one from 2014. There's that roll in there. Club face open up there, wrist. Yeah, so this is definitely from a different, a different time here. Still had the shaft a little laid off. So, you know, this this to me looks way better than what we saw with that iron swing. Don't you think? No comparison. Look at the club face. Yeah, you like that better, don't you? I, I do. But you see, his, you see his left wrist? Can you bring it in closer? Yep. You know what that tells us? What's it? No, this, 
didn't, he didn't change anything. He changed his left hand grip. Yeah. Yeah. Because he's not bulging the wrist a whole lot more. He changed his left hand grip. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I like I like this a lot better. Or whenever this was in his career, it might have been early. Um, wish we had something we could compare it to as from yesterday, but. Well, if, if this is if this is an earlier video, then you know he might have been hooking the ball and then learned to weaken his grip a little bit to get to keep hooking it. You know. Yeah. The Hogan esque kind of. Yep. Change. And just to remind everyone, we are live on Mondays and Wednesdays at 6 p.m. Talking golf, having some fun, having some laughs. And um, we're trying to help you play better golf at home and improve your golf swing at home. So what you need to do for that is you need to send us a video. You can upload it right to our site. We're going to have an app soon, make it real super easy for you. But right now you can upload it to our site, quickfixgolf.com. Or you can email it to quickservice at quickfixscalp.com and we'll do a free evaluation for you. Uh, not a penny out of your pocket. We can do it here on YouTube Live or we can send you something private. So um, you got nothing to lose there. So don't be afraid or hesitate to send us your video because we want you to play better golf now. Mondays and Wednesdays, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can check us out. He's in a much better place at the top of this one than the other one. Yep. No comparison. Look at the difference in the shaft, not just the club face. Yeah. The shaft's not as laid off. Yep. And really, really good coming into the golf ball. Pretty, pretty technical sound here. Looks a little steep to me. Yeah, well, I mean, at this point, it's coming up just underneath his right shoulder. I mean, it's not in line with his his right arm. It's kind of through his arms. I just been looking at Chuck Howell the third too much. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Let's back that up at impact here. I want to see one more thing here. So here's the tilt of his cap right at the hit. Doing, Doing the cap. cap. You're gonna have a new cap. <laughs> well, that cap is giving you a good indication of his eye line. I don't know, it's just something I've been looking at of late. All right, so he changes his eye line in the swing here. I don't think that's a good thing, but uh, he goes from peripheral to, to more of looking at the golf ball through right through the middle of his eyes, which I think is an important thing. So just something I've been looking at of late. Lots of things to look at in a golf swing. Uh, if you don't know what you're doing, you don't know what you're looking at, you need to send us a video. Interesting. Yeah, the, the worst thing in the world you can do is to try and self-analyze your own video, I'm telling you. It's like, it's like trying to perform open-heart surgery on yourself. You got a knife and stab yourself. <laughs> Where is it? Where is it? I know the heart's in there somewhere. <laughs> So you're already better off having an in, in you know, an, an un, what do they call it, a disinterested party taking a look at it and, and giving an honest opinion based on on fact, on on experience. And uh, between the two of us, we don't like an experience, that's for sure. Yep. Yep. You know, and it's not that hard to do. You take you take out your cell phone. I mean, crap, if we didn't have this around when I was a kid, I'd have been doing it every day. Right. Just uh, take out your cell phone, video your swing. In fact, when our new app comes out very soon, maybe about two, three weeks, you'll be able to just download our app, you know, videotape yourself, press the button to upload, and upload the video right there, right on the spot. Yep. 
Wait, Wait for the analysis. We got a we got a comment in the chat box. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Didn't you want to pay attention? Tiger's Mundo finding balance into his heels far different from the start. Yeah, it looks like his heels are coming off the ground a little bit. He's getting kicked in the pants some. He's getting kicked in the pants. There's no doubt about that. Yeah. Throw a line on his behind. Yep. And that could be why he was hooking it at one time, if that was the case. Pull him up. See right there, he's getting kicked in the pants. pants. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice technical term for you. Tegas Mundo says the ball cap. What's the deal with the cap? Yeah, it's just that, you know, how you're looking at the golf ball. I mean, we take it for granted that we we're staring down at it. Well, you know, you can see the golf ball from lots of different places. You can see it out of the corner of your eye and not even realize it. And that's my point with the cap. He's just looking down through the peripheral of the bottom of his eye because the cap is tilted so far up. You know, you got to tilt that cap down in order to look at that golf ball straight um, from the, the center of your eyes. We call it foveal vision. So just put a line there, watch his head. Well, he did that before, but yep. do it again, I guess. Put a, put a line on the, on the cap and then show how the, the, the line changes when he goes yep. to impact. We did this a little earlier, Tiger, for you just... Tiger's mm -hmm. Mundo, Tiger's World. Yep. And you'll see a big difference there from when he started. So that's changed changed quite a bit. But, you you know, you, you go back to what... Uh, you, what, who was that pitcher, Fernando Valenzuela, that you like to compare, right. you know, use that as an example? Um, yeah, and then you could look, you could, you know, uh, use David Duvall as an example or Annika Soros. I mean, there's so many players that actually I don't think saw the golf ball when they hit it. So, um, you know, I'll tell, you, they, tell, you another, tell you another example. We have to watch out for because, like Tiger's Mundo here, he's putting down all this thing. The head backs out. This does this. Last night on that football game, do you think Jay? What is it, Jason? Jason? Uh, what the heck's his name? The one from the, from, from uh, Buffalo. I don't know. I didn't see the game. Josh. Josh. Uh, no, it's Josh. Josh Allen. All right. When he's throwing that touchdown pass, do you think he's thinking about whether his Bill on his cap is turned this way. He just throws a damn thing. Yeah, that's yeah, that's true. You can't think too much. You got to act, react, kind of, kind of thing. You know, when you get it, you try to get a rhythm going, and you try and hang on to that rhythm, and you just keep attacking. You know, you you can't, you can't sit there and worry about every little minutia. Worry about that crap on the driving range if you want when you're working on something. Yeah. Then... Well, yeah, that's the difference. That's the when, you, when you send us send us your video, we're going to look at the one or two things that are doing the most damage, not you know, not twenty. Yep. Yeah, you got to have that number one, that priority, that gremlin that's getting you. That's where the talent comes. From. Both of those quarterbacks, they're not thinking about what they're doing. They just they they have the natural instinct and they have the coordination and they just unload the ball. Yep. You don't have time to think about it. Otherwise, there's a guy about 6'7", 360 pounds yep. that can run a 4'440", going to land on top of you. Yep. <laughs> the thing I, I got a kick out of was, was the, the kickers. Is the kicker. When he, made that, when he made that field goal to extend the game, I mean, I know a little bit about what that feels like from Brandon all the time having to do it. And I tell you what, it is it is amazing. It's just like golf. It's like being on the 18th hole of the Masters and you got a 20-footer and you got to make it. It's the same It's the same kind of sensation. Yeah. Or Tigers Mundo says seek balance. Yeah, I agree with that one. Yeah. Seek balance. No doubt about it.
<laughs> Easy. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's where all the, the training and the hard work come into play. It's it becomes easy if you put all the prep work in. Yeah, yeah you, you know, I just like to say, drill, 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 and forget it. Yeah, drill, 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 and forget it. Exactly. That's drill, a really, drill, drill, and forget really it. Really good point. Drill, 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 and forget it. You're absolutely right. Let the let the preparation and, and the hard work and the drilling take care of uh, take let, let, let it do its job. You, you drill exactly. for a reason, so it becomes natural. Yep. Yep. And to play golf with your head so much, play golf with your eyes. Look at the fairway. Look where you want to leave the ball. Look look at the green. Which way do you want to approach that green from? Yeah. Picture that ball going where you want it to go. You can't uh, just sit there and get over the golf ball and say, is my tootsies pointing the right way? Is my finger in the right place? Is my nose pointing the right way? Once you get on the golf course, forget all that crap. And just go for it. Yep. It's the difference between playing the game and playing with feel as opposed to being mechanical. Leave mechanics for the range. All right. We had the same thing. We went we went down to the Atlanta the Atlanta Falcons training camp to take a kicking lesson with a lady that was who, who claimed to be a kicking coach for Georgia Tech. And we drove all the way down there for the lesson. And then we had the lesson, and he started changing how his foot would approach and how this or that. Once we got done, I told him, I looked, I said, son, I'm really sorry, but I want you to forget everything this woman just told you. So just get it out of your mind. Because when there's a bunch of guys with snot coming out of their nose coming after you, you can't think about that crap. you got to kick it through the two poles. Period. Yep. Oh, my God, she had more crap going on in the poor kid's head. It was unbelievable. Yeah, we see a lot of that, uh, you know, nowadays with all the information that's out there, though. You know what I mean? Everybody's... It, it can be a positive and a negative. It's a positive if you use it right. It's a negative if you if you overcook it. Everyone's a YouTube junkie, and they think they can learn anything, everything off of YouTube, but... But if you know how to change the oil on your car, you know, you it's, it's great for YouTube. But if you want to learn what's wrong with your swing, you can't look at with YouTube because YouTube, you're going to look at somebody else's swing. Yeah. You're not looking at your swing. We want to look at your swing. So you want to get out your cell phone video, your swing, and upload it to our site at quickfixgolf.com. Yep. It's the only way you can get done. I like, I like this guy's guy swing though. He's 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 uh, it's pretty darn good. Look like he's a pretty big kid too. Yeah. Yep. There's a lot of them out there. A lot of good swings out there. Oh man, are you kidding me? You go back. And you look at, which we've, we've done before, the Miller Barbers of the world and all the other ones. It's amazing they got away with that crap. It was, it was, it was no comparison. But there weren't video. There wasn't, you know, everybody who was any good at it had great hands. And they got the golf club back to the ball somehow. Just like Tiger says, anybody with great hands can get away with anything. That's what they did. Yeah. It was a couple of good swings. One of them was uh, 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 the one who was clubs in the water. Yeah, Tommy Bolt. Tommy Bolt, yeah. Tommy Bolt had a great swing. Billy Casper had a horrible swing. Yeah. Yep. Tommy Bolt had a good swing. Sam Snead had a good swing. Although, if you look behind Sam Snead, you'd think he was swinging over the top. He just he takes it, he took it back inside underneath the plane, and then he came back on plane. Yep. So it was over the top compared to where he took it back. Yep. But it wasn't really over the top. Right. Yep. Like the other kid that, that wanted to go fishing all the time. What was his name? Yeah, they wanted to go kid. fishing all the time. <laughs> you got me. You hit everything, hit everything left to right. Kid that wanted to go fishing. I don't know. You got me stumped. I don't know, man. I can't believe I've been forgetting to get all these names. <laughs> Please don't forget my name. name. <laughs> 
<laughs> Was he a current current day player or are you back in the? No, 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 no. He's not playing anymore. I'm talking about the oldies. Oh, you mean Bru uh, Bruce Litsky? Bruce, Bruce Litsky. Yes, he loved the fish. Yeah. Bruce Litsky. Yeah, if he couldn't, if he couldn't fit it with his 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 curve within a fairway, he'd ha he'd have to. Uh, Back down and hit an iron off the tee, but he knew exactly how much that ball would curve, and it curved the same amount every time. Like what, 30, 40 yards, I bet, of curvature. Yep. But he had it down. He had a good attitude, though. He'd rather go fishing. Yeah. He didn't take it too serious to where. You, know, you get the. You get, that's the problem. A lot of the athletes they get so full of themselves. They're not. They're not performing. You know, open heart surgery. We're playing a game. Yep. So, uh, consider yourself lucky you're able to do that for a living rather than a lot of other stuff that people have to do. Yep. Yep. And we don't get clobbered. All right. Well, this was, uh, this was fun. And uh, uh, before, we, before we close up, anybody got a question they want to put in the chat box? And uh, don't hesitate. We want it. We want you to send your swings in. We're going to do it for free. Got no reason not to send it in. Upload it to our website. We'll do it here. Oh, Golfer Ron. Hi guys from Muro's Inlet. Oh, he's from Muro's Inlet. Golfer Ron. Come see us. We're over at Tupelo Bay. Golfer Ron, is he is he taking lessons with us over there? Ron, are you taking lessons with us? If not, if not we're coming to your house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're over at Tupelo Bay, Ron. Tupelo Bay, we got a $39 special. You want to come on over and see us? we we'll come over and knock on your door. Hey, what's the matter with you? <laughs> you did. You did once. We must not have done that good of a job if he only came to us once. Or we did too good of a job, one or the other. <laughs> All right, well, let's call it a night then. Okay. Mondays and Wednesdays, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can catch us or you can catch this replay on our channel. Make sure you subscribe, like it, and ring the bell. And we will see you on Wednesday. Well, here you go. Here you go. He looks like he got a great lesson from Bobby. That's why he didn't come back again. I don't blame him. <laughs> <laughs>